Hi everyone, welcome to BISP trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In today's session, I will uh, tell you about the item record creation under the inventory management. As we are uh, going through the concept of inventory management, which is a part of uh, supply chain management module of ERP. Uh, but uh, you know, before that, uh, we should know what is uh, the items. So in order to track inventory, uh, we have to set up inventory items first. So for that, we should know what is an item. So items are the goods and services that we sell uh, to our customer. And it also includes the parts and raw materials that we purchase from our vendors. So if I talk about the NetSuite, so NetSuite inventory items record, let us track the quantity and the value of inventory. So there are various uh, kinds of item types, uh, types that are used in the NetSuite. It has been divided into two categories. First is the inventory item and the other is non-inventory item. So inventory items has uh, again their subdivision. Uh, so these are the, if we talk about the inventory items, so it has been divided into lot numbered items, serial numbered items, matrix items, dropship items, and special order items. Uh, so if we talk about the lot numbered item, uh, first we should know what are inventory items. Uh, so inventory items are physical goods that we buy and sell and uh, we also record it into our inventory. So these are the inventory items. On the other hand, if we talk about the non-inventory items, so these uh, are also the physical goods that we buy and sell, but uh, these are not recorded into our stock. I mean, uh, there is no recording of uh, such items uh, made into our stock. It uh, is not recorded. So under the inventory items, we have lot numbered items. So lot numbered items record track the quantity of items uh, by assigning a specific number to the group or quantity of items. So these are about the, uh, this is about the lot numbered items. If we talk about the serial numbered items, so serialized inventory uh, is a way to track the purchase and sale of physical inventory items by assigning a serial number to each item. It, you know, we can say that uh, uh, under the lot uh, numbered items, so uh, we can have uh, a number for any particular group. But if we talk about the serial numbered items, so he, uh, so here we have we can you know assign a serial number to a single item. So uh, by providing the uh, serial number to any item, it lets us choose a specific serial number items in order to fulfill or receive an order. The next category the, uh, we have is the matrix item. So if we talk about it, when we have the combination of uh, certain options, like if we have the combination of size and color, so that will be coming under the matrix item category. So matrix item lets us track items by options such as size and color. Uh, an item matrix uh, consists of a parent item and sub items. I mean, it uh, it can have a variety uh, of uh, items. The other category that we have is the dropship items. So dropship items uh, are, you know, uh, used uh, under the dropship items. The items are sent directly from our vendor to the customer. It means that, that uh, these items are not recorded into our inventory as it does not, you know, have any impact on our stock. The supply of goods is directly made from the vendor to the customer. So there is no question of uh, uh, recording these uh, items into our inventory. The last category that we have under the inventory item is the special order item. So it, uh, you know, uh, can be used to track items that might not follow the regular inventory processing. Like uh, these uh, items, you know, are used to fulfill some specific or uh, some rare uh, orders. Uh, it uh, can uh, we can have an example of it uh, like it follows the just in time orders or orders of a customized item only. 
so you know uh, special order items are used for fulfilling the uh, fulfilling some specific item uh, some sorry some specific orders only so these are about the inventory uh, items non inventory items has also their sub categories like non inventory item for sale non inventory item for purchase and non inventory item for resale along with these two uh, there are certain uh, items that are item groups kit package and assembly items so these are the clustering item records that are used to assemble or package uh, several items into one unit i mean uh, so many uh, items or components are uh, collected and they are uh, kept into a group so that will be coming under the item groups kit package or assembly items so this is about the uh, types of items that are used in nets so in order to uh, create an item i will be uh, creating an item record so for creating an item uh, we have to go into list over to accounting over to items and new so as i have told you just now that items have been divided into these categories items inventory items uh, lot numbered serial uh, serialized items item groups kit package uh, non inventory items for purchase for resale for sale so matrix items are also here so uh, for today's uh, demo purpose i will be creating an inventory item a simple inventory item so this is the inventory item for uh, item form uh, first thing that we have to do is to change the form this is the custom inventory part form i'll be taking here standard inventory part form we have to provide a provide an item name and number for it we can mention the same under the display code, uh, name and code this is this upc code is for universal product code if we want to mention uh, any pro universal product code so we can mention it under the vendor name in code if we want to uh, mention the name for any vendor so we can mention it under the primary unit types uh, we have these options of which uh, usually it is taken as each so under the primary stock unit primary purchase and sale unit base unit everything you know will be uh, followed by each uh, sub item of if we want to make this uh, item a child item or a sub item of any parent item so these are the other items that have been created in our net suite so if we want to make uh, this uh, uh, processor 005 a sub item of any of these so we can uh, mention it over here if we do not want we can leave it the next thing that we have to do is we have to take a subsidiary here that is mexico so here i am selecting mexico i will be including this site uh, i will be you know uh, marking this include children like if any uh, child subsidies are uh, associated with this so this item can be used for it also if we go into the purchasing inventory here so under the purchasing inventory we have these options like uh, first we have is the costing method what kind of costing methods can be used so under the net suite we have the average cost method fifo that is first in first out lifo that is last in first out and standard so of out of these four uh, usually average uh, costing method is taken the cost category is already selected as default cost category if we want to mention a purchase price for this item so we can uh, mention it if we want to if we go down here under the inventory management so here we have the options relating to inventory like whether this item uh, is used for bins or uh, uh, which uh, what uh, point it is following reorder point or uh, whatever so we can mention these things over here these are all uh, concerned with the advanced inventory management that is concerned with the demand and supply chain uh, procedure this is about the manuf manufacturing uh, related information this is about the shipping this is about the vendor bill matching 
under the location if you want to mention a particular location if you want to mention any preferred location for this item so we can mention it from here so here i am taking this amazon us mexican office i have selected this preferred location bin numbers if we are if we are using the bins if we have checked this box check that box that is shown above so we have to mention the location where the bins are situated and we have to mention the bin number if we want to so we can uh, select it as per our requirement under the sales and pricing we have to mention the price there are various pricing procedures that are followed for any item so we will be uh, covering in our next session this is a separate topic and if we go under the accounting here so here the only uh, the accounts that will be affected uh, that will be affected with this item like you know whenever any item is created or it is you know uh, by it is bought and sold so the cost of goods sold account that would be affected we have to select that these are the various categories of cogs accounts uh, if you want, whatever we want to select we can select it the asset account that will be affected uh, we can select those accounts also income account is also gets affected with this so we can select that rest of the things are not as mandatory uh, if we go here into the tax uh, and tariff so under the tax schedule we have these two options like taxable and non taxable so i will be selecting a non taxable this is about the matrix item as i am you know creating a sing simple inventory item so we will not be looking at that so uh, this is all about the basic information of the inventory item now i will click on save so now we got the confirmation that our uh, processor 005 has been uh, successfully saved this is for bisp uk hq mexico the location i have mentioned this is a non taxable item if we go here into the list in order to see where this item is appearing so here you can see that its internal id is 1468 uh, we have created a processor 005 as an inventory item so that's all about the topic uh, in case of any uh, doubts and questions you can uh, reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you